Somebody's I love, had the I love how it goes. Audio's live in three, two, ding dong. Bing bong. <laughs> hey, everyone. What's going on? And happy Monday. Welcome to the Kind of Funny Morning Show uh, for, what is it, April 23rd? Is it that is April on? 23rd, Good. a.k.a. This Infinity War Week. Eve, Eve. Eve, Eve, Eve. Eve St. Laurent, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Nick. This is Tim. Uh, for all of those That's audio awesome. listeners asking whose luscious who's voices here? are in my earbuds what's right happening? now. Where uh, am what's I? going on? Kevin, who was at the door? Was it a package? Was it a special guest? Is was it, it Andrea a, Renee? Was it a giant Ladies and gentlemen, Andrea Renee just walked in. Toblerone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looking like business, as usual. What's up, gentlemen? I you look it. like, here's, here's what I want to say about you that I appreciate. You look like everything you do, you do with intent, right? That's true. Where like power lunches, power dinners, power podcasts. All power earth. Though. You're making deals. You're wearing sunglasses that are really big and boss like. <laughs> you're running business meetings at businesses you don't even. People aren't even call a part you. Of. You consult true. on stuff, and then you get off the phone. You go, I don't even know what I just said to these people, <laughs> but they just cast checks. And just <laughs> yeah. cast checks you know you're giving me too much credit. Well, I, don't I, don't so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I know a lot, and I know a lot about what I don't know, and I don't know a lot about you. <laughs> what? So there it is. <laughs> That's why you're intimidating to me. What? what? I don't know. Oh my gosh. It's just... early on a Monday, Andrea. Don't worry about either of us. Not that early. Are you talking about Westworld? Do you want... Maybe I'm... later, at the, at the end of the episode, we're going to bring you and Andy in to yeah, talk. Yeah, did you watch it? Oh, I had some things okay, to say. Okay, okay. So we're going to bring you and Andy in because I didn't get a chance to watch it, neither did Tim. Okay. Uh, I'm on the, here's the deal, I'm on the, the the fulcrum of do I wait a few episodes to binge it or do I need to stay current so it's not spoiled for me? So that's what I want to ask you. But come, can you come back in and like, I'll call for you. Okay. Like 35 minutes, of shish, shish, shish. Uh, before that, we've got some news to go into as well. We got to talk about James Cameron. We're going to talk about some really shitty posters. And uh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I don't know it. what you're talking about, but I'm excited. They're terrible. I Good. just brought up posters and I'm like, God, there's so many bad movies coming out. Um, but before we get to that, this episode of the Kind of Funny Morning Show is brought to you by Hims, a new wellness brand for men. We'll read that later. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's what's becoming my favorite portion of the show. Mm, it's easily. House- it's housekeeping time. Housekeeping. Go back in an hour. I love this place. Housekeeping, you want me for pillow? Please go away. Let me sleep for the love of God. Housekeeping, you want me to jerk you off? What kind of hotel is this? Mm-hmm. That is so cool, Kevin. It's Congratulations. Amazing. Yes. You did it. We nailed it. I fucking love that thing. We and here's we're getting slowly but surely better. At everything, Kevin. <laughs> in like 10, 15 years, we will be what some would consider professional for 1996. I, I feel like in maybe four to five years, the garbage truck, the fire might go out. It'll still be a garbage it'll truck. It'll still smell like burnt garbage, and it'll we'll still always be always remember smoldering. where we came from. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's right. funny is everything's relative. To some people out there, maybe we do look very professional. Actually, to a lot of people out there, we look very professional. But those people just see stills of the show. They mm-hmm. don't actually watch don't or listen anything. to anything we say. Mm-mm. I meet people in the street sometimes who are like, I'm a big fan of yours. And then they tell me things that I said, and I'm like, I cannot believe those words came out of my mouth. I can. I always can. You and say that, some weird shit, Nick. I do say some weird shit. Uh, I also talk a lot of shit, Tim, if you didn't know that mm-hmm. or not. And I talked a lot of shit about a member of our community, a dear member of our community. Yes. One Teddy Chineris. Yes. Now, Teddy got my Twitch sub this month. He got, if you guys didn't know, we do this Teddy. show, the morning show on Twitch every day. If you want to be a subscriber here, uh, you can use your Amazon Prime. You get one free Twitch Prime subscription. I use mine for a community member every month. I like to pay it forward. This month, I gave it to Teddy Chineris. But in typical me fashion, I stopped paying it. That was, that was it. I stopped that paying attention. Mm-hmm. Then the next day, I come in, and I just talk shit about Teddy because he didn't thank me. Because you don't understand what's going on. Yeah. No, I didn't even look. Uh-huh. I, didn't, I made yeah. zero attempt to see if I'm he had tweeted at me familiar or I didn't you. watch his stream. Yeah. Nothing. He gave me a huge shout out on his stream. Uh, Kevin, bring this up. He also, this is not, this is just me in, in his Twitter. I couldn't find the tweet where he thanked me. I didn't look, but there is this tweet with me in there. <laughs> You're so, so useless. I just wanted to say, <laughs> Teddy Chineris, you're welcome. You're welcome. Bamey is? Bamey else? I think it's supposed to be families. I don't know. Fam animals? Well, bring it back up. What is that? Yo, I'm What's lying. What's hashtag? Y'all thought you could escape me. I don't know what I'm playing yet. Come help me decide. How to- oh. oh. Well, that's a car crash. That sounded horrible. It wasn't that bad. Nah. Not that bad? People looking okay? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's hurt. Just uh, the back of a car is a little fucked Jesus. up. Jesus. I'm telling you right now. 
and, I, and I'm not kidding when I say this. You know I'm a normal, a paranoid human being, mm-hmm. and I'm an old ass man, and I'm, I'm scared of the world. I really think there are far too many people in the city, and it's starting to show. I've seen like three car accidents in the last two months. Like bad ones. Yeah. Where I'm like, holy shit, that person's life is forever altered. Jesus and I Christ, just feel that like is a sentence. I just feel like there's too, at the pace of the city, there's mm-hmm. too many people, too much shit going on. Everyone's got blinders on, everyone's texting while driving, everyone's just not paying attention, and it's starting to show. And I think in ten years we'll be in the apocalypse. Okay. I think it'll ten be years? Ma- I think it'll be Throw Mad Max. Yeah, I'll be Start gone. counting them down. I'll be gone. I will have moved to Berlin game by then. I'll be in my old ass or Marin. Jeez. Please never on, go to Marin. Oh, I'm going to Marin, but no man. I'm gonna go to Marin. I'm gonna adopt a small little Aryan white boy, and we were just gonna walk. I'm gonna walk around with him. And I'm like, like out of all the ways that you can phrase it, you chose those words like in that order. Didn't have to though. Because I want, I just want ever, I want to fit in. That's why. Yeah. I want to fit in with Marin County, Uh. and uh, they're very, they're very Aryan up there. Um, People said they heard the crash. Dude, it was was, that was it it sounded violent. I don't understand how it happened. It was it like, hold on, get in. Get in that in there. was two cars going like this. One of them wanted to go this way, but he turned way too early and hit the butt of the second car. See what I'm saying? He turned too early and hit the butt. So yeah, he just. But yeah. I, how, how does how do you make that mistake? Because like, you're stupid and not it's paying fine. attention. I'm gonna start going. Nope, I hit this car. I saw someone um, drive into oncoming traffic on Van S. Like literally, there was like th- like two or three cars ahead of me. I feel like I've seen that there's as well. a there's a left hand turn that's green, but it says yield until it's an arrow. And she, this this person, I think it was a female driver. Uh, I think she just literally was like, "Oh, it's green," and just started going and fucking plowed into someone, just punted him. Jeez. And I'm like, Life's "How scary, did you not? Man. Do you, you? There's only one way you got to look right. And mm-hmm. if there's 15 cars coming, you don't you, go. You don't go. <laughs> that's how it works. You just don't go. And then the other car accident I saw was. I think the guy was just not paying attention and ran a red light and fucking T-boned someone. <sighs> and when he T-boned him, he pushed him into the other, like the caddy corner of where the thing was. And I was just like, Jesus. People like coming out of it like it was fucking Vietnam. It was Damn. like all yeah, all the all the airbags had deployed. People were like, what the fuck was going That's on? That's scary as fuck, man. Recently, I want to say like a month or two ago, me and Gio went out to dinner and I was trying to find parking. It was nighttime, downtown area. And downtown can be kind of weird with the one ways and all this stuff. And I, I was trying to change where I was. I was on one side of the street, and I was trying to go on the other side of the street yeah. to park, and because there was more parking over there. So I did a U-turn. Yeah, may or may not have been illegal. Actually, Probably. I know for a fact it was illegal. Definitely illegal. Uh, because as I start going, I realize I'm going the wrong way on a one-way street, yep. and there was a lot of cars yep. coming towards me. And me and Gia were like, "This is it. We're gonna die. Fuck!" But then I, just, I, I was able to pull over in time, and, and it was it was all. All Gucci. There's the all say. there. Yeah, there's always like maybe once every four months. I would say I see that one out of towner who doesn't understand how one way streets work, and he's just parked, looking at everyone as they're passing him yeah. by with that terrified, dude, I mean, look on his face. There's that moment where you're like, "What am I gonna do here?" Like the only way out just, is through. Is through. You gotta go through. <laughs> Punch it, Chewy. Punch it, Chewy. Uh, another housekeeping news: kindoffunny.com slash tickets are where you get rickets. Uh, I don't know that. I just thought they would rhyme, but they don't. They, they did rhyme. That's a bad thing. You nailed the rhyme. Right. Kevin, bring this up. Bring up the kind of funny ticket site. Tickets, tickets. There it is right there. Prom, June 30th. This is going to be the event to be at. They call it the Met Gala of Nerd Functions. That's what they call I've heard it. And right them now, say that. you can get a ticket for $60. Let me tell you something right now. That is till April 30th. You have seven days. After that, anyone who buys tickets after that, I'm going to make fun of because mm-hmm. you're done fucked up. You could have saved yourself $10, and that right there is not one, not two, but three Starbucks venti iced coffees. That is not true. <laughs> that is 100% not true. That's not how math works. It is two and a half venti iced coffees. Yes, yes. I thought they were two, two forty five. They're not. They're three forty five. It's terrible. It's a waste of money. That's why I've stopped buying them for good. Never going to Starbucks again. Never again. Never again. Big <laughs> Starbucks. Went, went twice Put it yesterday. on the books. Went twice yesterday. <laughs> Mm. Oh, man. Uh, we are having some issues with the store, by the way. Kevin, can you bring up kindoffunny.com slash store? Some people were asking about this. Um, every item is marked as sold out. They are, uh, can we talk about this? We can talk about this right I don't remember what, what the final final thing was. But we're working they, on it. They, we're working on it. There's been some issues with the, the RT store stuff. So the idea here is while they're figuring those out, and they should be figured out soon. So very shortly. Uh, anyway. You guys can pre-order the stuff. So it's like you can go in and there's like an email and notify me. So if you want the products, you can still add to cart and, and do the thing. You can still buy the hoodie. The hoodie is still available. Great. Sizes. Oh, so that's great. Hey, I think these must have just been restocked. Uh, that's my guess. 
Yeah, so anyway, so. we're working on that. We're aware of it. We'll keep you guys updated on that. Uh, Thursday of this week. Seems really cheap. For the kind yeah. of casual shirt? I love kind of that shirt. shirt. It's on, I can't believe more this people This is don't. Final, final sale. Once these are gone, they're gone forever. I have that shirt. I thought about wearing that shirt today. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, kind of funny shirts we have. I saw that I thought this. I was like, I'm going to be a little more subdued for, for Monday. I yeah. got to go to a park later today. Yeah. I don't want to scream at people with my shirt. I got to go to a park. I do. They're yeah. having a... I got to go to a park later. Oh, shit. I totally forgot to put something on the calendar. Uh, I'll be at Milk Bar tomorrow night doing a showcase if anyone local in the Bay Area wants to stop by. I believe the thing Bay starts at 8 p.m. Uh, check my social feeds, but uh, Milk Bar up in the Upper Haight. I'll be there. I might need Kevin to come film that, too. Because okay. I want to film my set this time. Okay. What of y'all? We'll figure it out. What day is that? Tomorrow. Oh, okay. 8 o'clock. I cannot. I'll figure it out. Okay. It's not a big deal. I'm trying to book more showcases uh, so I can get out in front of real crowds because the open mic circuit's starting to kill my soul. Just kill it. Just stomp it out like a fucking... What are those stupid little uh, bugs that look like kind of small centipedes? Little silver bugs or what? Silver... silver no, the silverfish? What are they called? Silverfish. The Let's little, go with silverfish. The little fish. ones that look <laughs> like... I think, I think silverfish is right. Or roly really? polies. Yes. Yeah, roly polies. Fish that are out of water? No. It's, well, it's not... It's, I don't know. Just anyway, just it's starting to kill me. Fish. There you go. Uh, so, Infinity War, this Thursday. Holy Mother and Jesus we and Mary. I'm so excited about this. Mm -hmm. uh, not the least of which is because this weekend, if you guys did your homework, you also watched Thor Ragnarok, like I almost forgot to do, but then remembered on uh, Sunday night at 10 o'clock, 10.30, if I'm being 100% honest. The sirens are I'm guessing that's for the accident. That Nope, they're yeah. gone. They don't they're care. just going to keep going. They don't care about the car accident. That's probably still out there. Someone's hemorrhaging blood. Huh? The cops in the city don't the give a shit. Fine. Cops people come fine. and try to snatch my crops. These pigs want to burn my house down. You know what I mean? No. Tim. Did you rehearse that? No, I just, that's the only lyric I know from that song. These oh. pigs want to burn my house down. I'm unfamiliar. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, we are going to be talking <laughs> Thor Ragnarok later today. So if you guys watch that over the weekend, that will be live on YouTube.com slash kind of funny tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. And then Infinity War. Some people were asking, hey, Nick, when does that go live? Do we have to wait? Is that going to be like, a, no, we're going to put that up ASAP. Yeah, we're watching it at 7 p.m. on Thursday, and then we're going to come back and do the record and immediately get that thing up. So That's what's late happen. Thursday night, our review will be live. Our review and ranking. The final MCU in review for now. For now. Because Ant-Man and the Lost coming out a yeah. couple a couple weeks There's later. like eight more movies coming out. Yeah. So we're going to be good. What are we going to do afterward? Uh, we're figuring it out. We, out we're going to announce what we're going to do afterward uh, in, in the last episode. Now, you might be thinking, oh, is Infinity War going to be the last episode? No. There will be an episode after that. So next week, we're going to do the official definitive ranking of the MCU episode where we go through where the rankings lie. Then we are individually going to give our personal list as right. well. Okay. And oh, then, I like this. And then also, for like, because that's not going to be too so much of So we can about. write the egregious wrong of putting Winter Soldier at number two or wherever it's I mean, at we right can now. Do egregious. You want to do. Okay. Egregious. Iron Man's number, number one on my list. number three right now. Number Is it still... List. Iron Man in your mind. Okay, no, good. Not even close. Good. Uh, dude, I, I will say this. Tim gave me a lot of shit for when I did this half-cocked topic on GOG where I was like, let's rank the event. And he was like, you're a fucking asshole because he was gone that day. Yeah. And maybe part of me, just a little shitty part of me did it just to like, ha, ha, ha. We had fun without yeah. it. Um, yeah. I ranked, I think I ranked Iron Man and Avengers like number one, number two. I, do, I can't say with all confidence that would be the case. Yes. Watching yeah. all of them back to back, it's... Hell it's yeah. Sometimes it's difficult to make a case for that. I want it because I love the originals. I love the ones that started it all. Um, but man, watching Thor Ragnarok last night, I was like, look where we've come. It totally, man. Look that's, where we have that's arrived. Where it's at. Uh, My God. But so yeah, we're going to do an episode fire. given our, our rankings. And we're also going to, too. it'll be like an award show that's where cool. I want to have discussions about best fight, best couple, mm. best character. Like should, all we that give, tro should we send trophies to Robert Downey Jr.? Um, if he wins something, okay, ah, cool. Spoilers, he's gonna win something. I forgot it's, to do it too. It I doesn't matter. Too. But Shit. speaking of people who should get trophies but are probably gonna get cupcakes later today, can't bring this up. It's not looking good for Barb. Uh, it's over, right? Is this done? Yeah. I think Refresh so. this. I think it's done. Let's see. The kind of funny best friend tournament. Final results. Final results. 60-40. By a mile. Almost 50,000 votes. 50,000 votes. Y'all came is, out in droves. I want everyone to know that we have a very energized, very amazing community out there who will completely waste 15 seconds of their time picking between two wonderful human beings. Um, and I can say, in this, as in most things in life, there are no wrong choices. It there are just DiGiorno. choices. What's that? It should have been DiGiorno. DiGiorno put the work DiGiorno in. DiGiorno put the work in, but... 
If I'm being 100% honest, honest, Barb and Elise are two of the best human beings on this planet. Uh, and I know that they're probably both mortified by this. So congratulations to Elise. Barb, we love you as well. Um, that is it for the first, the inaugural, the kind inaugural. of funny best friend of the show. Should have been March, maybe April. Next year, maybe we'll do it at the beginning of the year. Who the hell knows if we're ever going to do this dumb joke again. Uh, but congrats to Elise. Please send your sweet, nasty love to both of them. Leave out the nasty part. Just send love to Barb and Elise uh, and everyone that was a part. A and make it a little nasty. Make it a little nasty. So you know what? Send some, send some bucket. No, stop. Send congratulations and words of condolences to Barb and Elise, respectively. And then send some nasty love to DiGiorno. Yeah. Just yeah. nasty. DiGiorno deserves that nasty love. Uh, DiGiorno needs, like, DiGiorno is that nasty love that after you got sweaty, you're like, let's pop into DiGiorno pizza. Let's fucking go. It's been a sweaty weekend. I'm not saying what you were doing. You fill in the blank with what you may or may not have been doing this weekend. But just know that there's a DiGiorno's pizza pie at the end of that rainbow for you. Mm-hmm. And they deserve the nastiness. I'll tell you what, I think we made them number one in the country with this poll. DiGiorno? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think they were before, but I think DiGiorno is now because of us number one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a metric that we can report on, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. DiGiorno number one because of us. Number one, DiGiorno. And you're number one in our hearts, DiGiorno. Okay, uh, Kev, that's it for housekeeping. Now it's time for the news. Wait, do we not have a graphic for that? You you keep every weekend, you're like, I'm going to make more graphics. I, here's the thing. I don't have time. I'm putting this out to the community right now. Community, this is your chance. Make a dope ass news intro for us. Give it to us. Make sure there's green at the beginning and end so Kevin can like, it, it can cut, you know, uh, overlay over the footage just like the housekeeping thing. And we're gonna run a competition. Whoever wins, uh, we're just gonna, we're use, gonna your use your work. Your shit. And that's it. <laughs> Do you have any like. But we'll give you a shout out every here and then. Who's the have, guy that did the housekeeping thing? I have it written down. We're, we're gonna shout you out tomorrow. Make sure we pick that up because that housekeeping thing is amazing. It doesn't need to be a little shorter though. It does I think need we should, to be a little shorter. I think just we should shorten it to AJ the jerk you off part we should take out. And then, like, what type of hotel is this? Do you want end. just that oh, part? Wait, I, yeah. yeah I, okay, I was gonna go the opposite where it's like we take the jerk off part because we never say gross stuff like that on this show. Real quick, Nick. I don't know, man. All right. It was AJ Meadows who did it. AJ, AJ Meadows. AJ Meadows. Shout out to AJ Meadows. That thing is amazing. But now AJ Meadows, here's what we're going to need. A shortened version of that where it's just like, housekeeping, you want me to jerk you off? What kind of a hotel is this? And then it goes, that's I mean, what we, we should, need. We should limit, like, anyone that, that sends in one of these, we should probably try to keep them around. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Five to ten seconds. Five that's all ten we seconds, need. Yeah. You guys don't need to go nuts. But have fun make with them news. Fun. Make them fun. And if you want to steal something from like Anchorman or any other show that might get us sued one day, feel free. Because <laughs> you know what we do here? This is the fucking Wiggity Wild Wild West. This is the Will Smith Wiggity Wild Wild West. I listened to Despacito on my way here today. That song is just special. It is special. It's so good. Yeah. There's just things that you're like, yeah, they deserve 8 billion views eight on fucking YouTube. fucking billion views. How God, many, how many views is that, Kev? De I need a Despacito count. What, what were we saying? I'll check, it. I'll check it right now. Vivo Despacito. Vivo Des. You, you're the only person in the world that would type Vivo into the YouTube search. I want I want the Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, Peanut Gallery. <laughs> it's got five billion views on the Louis Fonzi official channel. Man, that straight up just says five B. Yeah, five B. <laughs> it's like that's what you know you're baller as fuck when you're in an apartment, you know? Uh, a five B, five A. Jesus Man. Christ. Yeah, good for him. Now, here's my question. Do you think he's making fucking money? Do you think he's touring like a motherfucker and he's just cashing in on this song right now? I, it, he has I don't to be, know, right? man. I feel like it's like the YouTube money alone is probably I don't think that him. is that good. I mean, I feel like when you've got- Five billion views? It's like 200 bucks in YouTube ad rev. No. <laughs> that's like, that's enough for like some Tostitos chips and like a DiGiorno pizza. But Louis Fonzie's not living life legendary off that. <laughs> Louis Are Fonzie. you guys getting ads? What's that? When you go on it, do you get an ad? I don't know. Let's click on it. Let's see. Why wouldn't you? I don't know. I, I haven't gotten any. Yeah. Yeah, I got an ad. Okay, cool. Right now, hold on. Get out of the fucking way! I gotta refresh this. I wanna know. Is that. Who, do you, over under, do you think that's Maria Menuda? <laughs> Maria no, Menuda? No, why would it be? I don't know. Oh, it looks, it like, her, looks like her. It looks like her shoulders. Ah, oh, we'll never know. No, nah, we'll never know. Hold on. I'm gonna do Dude, it. Dude, shout out to Maria Menunos, man. No. Like, no. Yeah, no, no shout out to Maria yes, Menunos. Shout out, man. She is everywhere. She annoys 
the shit out of me in the pre-movie stuff. In the movie, she's just newbie, trying to, newbie she's pushing? N-O-O-B-I-E. With her fucking wig. She has those weird Lady Gaga the, shoulder wig? pads that Don't she wears. Don't tell me she has a wig. No, she's not wearing a wig, but there were some wigs. She does got them shoulder pads. I do want to say there were a couple wigs in, I'm uh, happy to report there were some wigs in Thor Ragnarok, which we will be we talking will about. Talk, we, we will wig also it be doing the podcast from the podcast from the podcast called Rank Those Abs because holy sweet mother of God, I think we have a new number one. Yeah, man. Really? Jesus fuck yes. Did you see what that one think, shot? Like it was so good that you could tell they were like immediately put the armor on for two reasons. One, it's distracting. This yeah. is bull face shot. No one's two, listening anymore. If we have to have you come back the next day, the abs won't match. Mm. Like if you eat one piece of bread, you will not have this definition in your abs anymore. Good God! It woke me up last night. I was tired, and I saw him, and I was like, "Geez, Louise, Chris Hemsworth, to the put a fucking shirt on." To the extreme says Thor Wignorok. There were some wigs. There were, there were some wigs. So we will be, uh, we will be uh, wigging out today on the podcast. It's going to be fun. And Andy hopefully will remember the theme songs to all of these because it's going to be good. I was, there was also some really bad hair extensions in this one. Mm-hmm. And that's why I think is the more egregious of the offenses. Loki's hair extensions? <sighs> Greasy. Not good. All right, let's go into some news. Don't judge me. Don't you fucking judge me, <laughs> sir. I see shit, right? I see, I see dead people. Yeah. Kev, actually, bring up the. Uh, I want to read this Kevin Feige on James Cameron news first from Vulture. I, pu- I put that in the uh, the top of the doc. Top of the doc. Top of the doc. This is from Vulture. Uh, James Cameron got into some shit over the weekend. We're talking shit about Avengers, mm-hmm. and Kevin Feige was like, "Not in my house." Not in my house. Not in my house, sir. Sir James. But Cameron, he said it in the best way possible. Because he's fucking Kevin Feige, and he's yeah. like a billionaire at this point. Mm-hmm. No, he's probably one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, guy in Hollywood right now. He's the Mike Ovitz of Hollywood. And Mike Ovitz Mike was actually Ovitz. the Mike Ovitz of Hollywood, but it's fine. It's a, it's, a, it's a random reference to CAA. James Cameron used to be our most reliable purveyor of biggest films ever made, but after the director of Titanic and Avenger uh, started talking a, uh, taking a longer hiatus between projects, because he was like going to the fucking bottom of the ocean, uh, <laughs> which is a dope documentary, by the way, but it's weird as shit that he wanted to do that. Um, Titanic, bro. Uh, yeah, anyway, it fell to Marvel Studios. Uh, to consistently generate billion-dollar blockbusters. By that measure, Marvel Studios uh, head Kevin Feige uh, may be the newest king of the world, and when Cameron was interviewed this past Saturday, he had some choice words about the comic book movies that now dominate the multiplex. Quote, I'm hoping we're going to start seeing Avengers fatigue, Cameron said. After a Los Angeles press conference this afternoon, Avengers Infinity War, I sat down with Feige to ask him about Cameron's comments. Foggy claimed he had only heard them for the first time that day and not in full, so I read them to him. Quote, there are other stories to tell, I said, quoting Cameron. Besides, you know, uh, hi- what is that? This article is really- males? Yeah, the, I don't know why they didn't just fucking add the quotes. I don't know, this. it's very well. Hypogonos is very, I continue, Hypogono males without families doing death-defying things for two hours, wrecking cities in the process. Foggy uh, sat, Processing the quote, I noted that Cameron prefaced his comments by saying, uh, quote, it's not that I don't love the movies, it's just, come on, guys. Uh, uh, he loves the movies, Feige said, a knowing grin spreading on his face. He stood up, pumping his arms. That's awesome. Wow. James Cameron loves our movies. That's exciting. Fucking the best way to handle that. Take the one positive thing and just run with it. Fuck the negatives. Who gives a shit? Pump out those Avatar sequels and we'll see what happens. Uh, the, uh, here's the thing about this. Cameron's not... Necessary. I mean, he's entitled to his own opinion. He's James Cameron. He's one of the most prolific, if not one of the like top five best directors of all time, I would say. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, of course, a guy that wants to tell stories like he has told over there, he's told a myriad of stories, including Titanic. You know, when you range from Titanic to Terminator to Aliens to Avatar, I mean, you're getting a lot of variance in there. Mm-hmm. But, you know, at the end of the day, Kevin Feige knows what he's making. Mm-hmm. He knows he's putting out a consistently good product. Yeah. Sometimes great, sometimes Ant Man, Thor: Dark World. Yeah, you know, sometimes. Well, you know what I mean. Like the, well, like I would Ant-Man's say overall, Ant Man is like the mark of good, good Marvel movie, entertaining. I said not it's Age of Ultron. I'd say Ant Man is. I think Age of Ultron is a little lower than that. I'm not, we're getting into the weeds here. What mm-hmm. I'm saying is Kevin Feige is not fucking around. He knows what he's making. He knows he's not. He's not angling for an Academy Award with this. He doesn't want to be the first person ever to be like, "We're going to make the Dark Knight. It's going to get another Academy." Or here's what we're making. Here's what Kevin Feige is making. Can you hear this audio, listeners? This is Feige and Marvel fucking cashing in that Skrilla. They're shredding that cheddar right now. That's what they're making. Cameron's just, a, you know, what are you going to do? Go make Avatar, bro. Yeah, go make Why don't more Avatar. you come Avatar. out? You can have your opinion because you made Aliens. No, That's but here's cool, the thing. He can have his bro. opinions, but his opinions fucking suck. I, this is not the first time that he's come oh. out and said some bullshit. He, like, he tweeted saying Terminator Genesis is a great movie. 
Like, go watch it. And it's like, I you are a fucking shill, my friend. Terminator Genesis, he probably has never even seen it, A. And B... That's what I'm saying, though. His opinion on these things, he's probably hasn't seen these either. Uh, again, I think this is... The, honestly, backing up a couple hundred paces, this is a random quote that James Cameron probably said in passing to a PR... Per, or, like, to a, to a press outlet. Mm-hmm. And they just picked it up and ran with it. We're yeah, making totally. mountains out of molehills on this. But it does, it does beg the question of, like, do you see ever a future where there will be a superhero fatigue and... and my personal opinion on that is if we were, I think we would have seen it come already. <laughs> We've talked on the Game Over Grading show about superhero fatigue for the past 17 seven years. years. Yeah, at least. I think we're fine. I think it's here to stay, Cameron. Now, what's interesting is another is, news story that, uh, yeah. that we don't need to pull up. I can just give you the gist sure. of it uh, that kind of addresses this in a way. Kevin Feige again came out and said MCU or Marvel will not be at Hall H. At Comic Con, really? Yeah, well, nothing this to show. year because they want to give Infinity War some time to to chill. Um, at, by that point, Ant Man and the Wasp will already have been out, so Captain Marvel and then Avengers Four, whatever it's going to be, would be the only things that they would be promoting. Um, so they're not going to do that. They're going to do their own thing, or they didn't say they're going to do their own thing. We don't know when that stuff's going to happen. Mm. Uh, but he did say that they are making an effort to not announce movies post Avengers Four until. The movie comes out until it comes out, and then I imagine they'll do something like they did for Phase Three. It's so it's so. I read another article talking about how they want they want the movie, the first movie after Avengers Four, to be Spider Man, to come back and ground it in the world. Did you hear about this? Uh, well, I mean that's that's been announced, right? Yeah, like, about the, the next the one right happening is, is going to be Spider-Man. the next Spider Man. We're supposedly going to get a title for it in the next couple weeks. It started shooting in London, um, <gasps> and yeah, but I, I think that's that's that gets complicated because of Sony. Mm. I don't think Spider-Man would be placed where it is if it wasn't for Sony's uh, like, look, Sony's we need this. Yeah, exactly. We need this dog. So. We got to pay our rent. We got alimony. We got child support. We need this shit, dog. And Marvel's just like, hey, man, it's cool. Let us buy you. Disney's just like, let us have you. It's fine. We are headed for a beautiful, beautiful point where mm. Disney just owns everything. And then I will complain that there's too much Disney shit. Yeah. That's no, what will that's, happen. I will have totally. fully supported it. Mm-hmm. And then I will complain that they're just making cookie cutter movies. Mm-hmm. And then I will see all of them. And then and I will 10 years them. later, we're going to do a retrospective where we go back. And you're going to be like, you know what? Not that bad. Right? Sometimes, listen, sometimes with age comes wisdom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Will I go back probably at some point, watch Daddy's Home Again and rejudge that movie? No, because it's perfect right here. It's, <laughs> it's perfect, perfect right, right in my here. brain. Right now, it's a beautiful snowflake that's just sitting right in my noggin. Uh, okay, well, not much of a story there, but fun to talk about nonetheless. This is another interesting story, though, coming up over on uh, THR, The Hollywood Reporter. It says, Movie Pass poll subscribers see far more films. Many go alone in midweek. Exclusive. Don't know why this needs to be exclusive, but the first major poll of Movie Pass subscribers comes to an indisputable conclusion. The monthly subscription service is dramatically changing movie going habits for the better at a time when theater owners and Hollywood studios are hard pressed uh, to stem the continued downtick in cinema audiences. Uh, I think there was a story a couple months ago saying that like movies were down mm-hmm. all time low for like the last however many years. So that makes sense. Years or something like it was that, right? it was brutal. I mean, they're still making money because of inflation, but. That's what it goes. An exclusive survey conducted by National Research Group. Fake ass fucking group. That's not a real place. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter found that 83% of movie pass patrons who can pay as little as $6.95 a month. That sounds like a great deal. I should think about that. Uh, to see one film a day are more satisfied with movie pass than any other subscription service, take Netflix, and are seeing more movies than they did previously, as well as more diverse offerings. On average, subscribers have taken six more trips to the cinema in the past six months than non subscribers, while they are twice as likely to go on opening weekend. And nearly half of movie pass customers say they are now willing to take a trip to the theaters alone, while a hefty number, 42%, happily go midweek. You guys do this all the time. You guys go midweek, right? Yeah. 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 Dude, you should get Movie Pass, man. You should get Movie Pass 100%. I'm waiting until Movie Pass is the only thing I can get. Until theaters go, you can't buy tickets here anymore. No, you're waiting until Movie Pass announces that it's not doing well financially and it needs to raise its prices 20%. Yeah. And you're like, okay, now I should get on board. Now's the tipping point. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair for me. That is fair for me. You paid for Super Troopers 2. Not only did I pay for Super Troopers 2, I paid $13.50 for Super mm-hmm. Troopers 2, plus a $1.50 convenient fee yeah. from Fandango, because I was worried the movie was going to be sold out. 
which was absurd. Then I also factored the fact that I gave them $10 as a backer mm-hmm. on whatever their GoFundMe or Kickstarter was. Yeah, Indiegogo. I paid $25 you did. to watch Super Troopers. Can, and I laughed can, at a fucking bear in a shitter. That's, you, that was the funniest part of that movie. Can you please? <sighs> I want to know how Super Troopers 2 did at the box office. I'm gonna say I'll not. look up the numbers. I'm going to say you. not well. I appreciate it. I'm going to say not well. I don't know, man. I was out this weekend, a whole bunch of people talking about it that I was with. Really? People I did not expect. Really? Yeah. really? Super Troopers has that, that, that fan Penetration. Base. It's got the penetration. Which is interesting because Super Troopers 1 didn't do well in the, the box office at all, but it, it became a cold hit. It can't have cost that much for them to do that movie, though. One? Yeah. Yeah, I don't we're, know. T- we're probably talking $3, 4000000 million. Oh, probably. Yeah. I'm sure it's made its money. They made their first now. movie for like sixty k. Where are we at here, Kev? Pull this number up. Number four. Super Troopers, number four at the box office, $14,700,000. $700,000. pretty good, man. That's not bad considering they kickstarted it. Yeah. Good for them. And don't have to pay back most of their investors. So good for them. Those guys just bought Keep Lambos. They beat Truth or Dare. That's pretty exciting. That is good. Is that? Yeah. But they did not beat I Feel Pretty, which opened at six, uh, sixteen million two hundred. But how close it was is shocking. Yeah, especially since Amy Schumer is a huge star, and, and no one remembers. Name one person <laughs> in Super Troopers. What are their names? Rabbit. Jay Chadahaskar, mm-hmm. Chadahandaskar, Kevin and, Heffernan, and Steve Lemmy. Is that what their names are? Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, my God. What the fuck did they spend $32 million on for I Feel Pretty? How much of that went into Schumer's pocket? Oh, that's pretty high, too. Oh, yeah, shit. $13.5 million budget for that? Interesting. For Super but Troopers 2? Like, who, who gets these numbers? Like, who, who writes these, finds these numbers out? I, I don't actually Do know because I don't think out? the studios actually report accurately what they spent on them. Mm-hmm. A large portion of the time, I think they have to accumulate the numbers, but I could be wrong. 13.5, that means they have to make probably three times that much for this movie to be considered profitable. And, for the uh, first week, getting 14, like, being number four is not a bad spot. It's not bad, but I, I go on a limb and say drastically going to fall off next sure, week. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. But... I do recommend oh, people Infinity War. watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to suck yeah. up a lot of... I mean, it's also Super Troopers. You have to think, diehard fans, go week one. Everyone else is like, what is this movie? I don't know, man. I think it's going to be word of mouth. I mean, they are. The poster is pretty amazing. They're, gi- they're, they're riding a giant uh, eagle, a bald eagle with an American flag. So that gets me on board because, you know, I am unabashedly American. Mm-hmm. I am very American. Yeah. You uh, know. <laughs> and let me I've tell often you, said that about I, you. I, d- I did see someone... Uh, in the comments, I forget who, I think it was in the comments of our, our review on Friday, uh, who was like, it's pretty much just one Canada joke, like one long Canada joke. Mm-hmm. And if you don't live in the bordering towns, or like the bordering states to Canada, you don't, you won't get them. And I'm like, what's there to get? Yeah. We're better than Canada. Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's the so joke. True. Well, it's not How a joke. hard that's is it to get your head wrapped around America? It's not a joke. People. You know I, mean? I mean, it's a joke if you're Canadian. You it's know? a joke when they're making fun of them. Will yeah. Sasso's there. Dude, the Will... I'm sorry. So the Will weird. Sasso shit fucking demolished me. I am such... I'm... Uh, he just looks so much... He was like the, the only person about, I followed on Vine. The thing, the <laughs> thing about Super Troopers 2 is there's lowbrow humor for everybody. Oh, if you like shitty Will Sasso jokes, it you is get it. The if you lowest, like poop jokes, it is there. It is the lowest brow humor you will ever... And it got me. I'm not going to lie. The part, I think people are out there. I'm going to spoil one part for it. There's a part where uh, Farva gets chased into a porta potty by a bear. And then he tries to close the door, and the bear punks his fucking face in and goes, Arr! I died. I yeah. lost it. Yeah. I was like, that's it. This movie's terrible, and I'm laughing at parts of it. That's where we're at as a society. What's this? A quiet place? What's yeah, that? I was just looking at how much it cost according to this thing, and they're saying $17 million, And, and it's grossed 132. 132. So that's uh, a success. Give John Krasinski more money. Yeah. Let him direct That's the next rad. thing. Good I still for them. haven't seen it, man. I haven't I know. seen it either. It's, it looks really scary. Yeah. I feel like I should see it with Kevin so we can snap. I love the that it's only time. an hour and thirty-five minutes. Movie pass, bro. Like, let's get in, let's get out. Well, how how long? How much longer does it need to be? Every really? fucking movie is like two hours. It's too long. Even the fucking Marvel movies are too long. Dude, I yearn for the days in the '80s where movies were ninety minutes. I like the Marvel movies being as long as they are because to me those are events. You, I gotta look at the MCU. I look at any of these superhero movies. As any time there's a cinematic universe, it's like a TV series, mm-hmm. TV season. It just keeps going. It's episodic. So I want as much as I can get. Sure. But for just a fucking one-off movie, it's like, nah, man. Wait, are you kidding me? Nope. That's, that's Kevin, crazy. bring this up. The Truth and Dare budget was $3.5 million, and it has reportedly grossed worldwide $38 uh, million. These are why horror movies 30 are... $30 million. Uh, no, I'm just looking at the worldwide yeah, total. $38 the down there. The domestic's 30 
plus four and a oh, seven shit. nine, so thirty eight worldwide. Wow. That's a pretty fucking great return on your investment for Dude, a three point five movies, million. Man. They People do it, love man. them. Who's in Truth or Dare? Who is this person? No one. It's, there's literally it's one of those a bunch cash of fucking, generic hot girl, hot guy. And they're just like, who are well, like, twenty year old actors who you can just put in a movie? I think that the like the main girl is becoming a bigger deal. Like she's really? on a lot of TV shows. Well, look, click, look, click into it. Let me see who she is. Uh, well, no, it's not IMDb. Yeah, yeah, just fine. Can you pull up IMDb? Yeah, I will. Let's do that. Uh, while you're doing that, Kev, bring up that, that Ash story for me to take a look at. Okay, one, more, one second. There it is. Uh, actually, I'll find it on Variety here. This is from Variety. Ash versus Evil Dead canceled as star, at stars after three seasons. This sucks. I love this show. But I should also, if I like it, probably get stars and watch it on stars because I didn't do that. No. I watched it when it was free on Amazon Prime, and so that sucks. So maybe I should put my money where my mouth is. Okay, hold on. There's some breaking shut news my, shut my mouth. Uh, that we're going to need to look at okay. right now. Can you okay. please go to Deadline.com, yeah. Kevin? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Jesus. What are we looking at? And type in Fast and Furious oh, into, no. the, into the thing. I don't like this. No, this is fantastic. All right, that's not working. We just do want to. I hate search engines. We we'll just read it. Fast and Furious animated series yes. set at Netflix, based on Universal movies, as deal with DreamWorks Animation TV expands. This comes from Rudy in the chat. Uh, as animated Fast and Furious, an animated Fast and Furious series is headed to Netflix. It's the first series in expansion of an ongoing multi-year deal between Netflix and DreamWorks for original animated kids and family programming. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> do you think that Vin Diesel is going to lend his amazing voice talents to this? Oh, in my family. In the Fast and Furious animated series, teenager Tony Toretto follows in the footsteps of his cousin Dom when he and his friends are recruited by a government agency to infiltrate an elite racing league service serving as front for a nefarious crime organization bent on world domination. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Let's just focus on uh, Calvin and Hobbes or what the spinoffs. Like, what's, the, what's the spinoff Hobbes and Swanson? Hobbes and <laughs> Shaw. Shaw. Man, I wish just I wanted it to just be like Tokyo Stories, and it's just what Han did. I would have been like, dope. Uh, what if they did like a hardcore anime of like Tokyo Stories? Where that would be the fuck, shit. That'd be awesome. Hey, I'm in, dude. More Fast and Furious. That would run be it in the ground. Yeah, why not? After seven, it's all fucking downhill. That's fine. Look, the fact of the matter is, I I went back. Netflix has has, has very seldom steered me wrong, right? I went back recently and finished Jessica Jones. Mm -hmm. <sighs> not good. Entertaining. Something to do when I want to just zone out. Watch some people punch some stuff. So we'll see. They've been deliver. putting up a lot of really bad movies. Like Netflix original movies. No, they've been putting up a lot of movies that look like they're bad YouTube movies. It's weird. Like bad, like, and I say that and everyone knows what I mean, but let me clarify. Like movies that look like they had no budget and don't know how to make a movie, but they have superstars, like the entire cast of Workaholics. Well, that is true. You know, that like those guys have two true. movies. Like Adam Devine has two movies right now, and I'm like, and they're both who fucking the trash. Fuck is, may, let you make these movies. Yeah. Why are they bad? There's another movie with fucking Chris Rock and Adam Sandler that looks terrible. Yeah. And why I say, and by the way, I don't mean looks terrible from a content perspective. I mean the physical look of the movie looks like they shot it on one of our cameras. Like they don't know. Like they got a DP who's like, just just put the Stay camera in, on. Man. Let's see what happens. iPhone, dude. They Weird. have cameras, right? Yeah, the iPhone. Are you just film on the iPhone. We got we got Rock, man. We got Rock and Sandler. This is gonna sell it. Weird. Weird. I'll tell you what else looks Bad. not great. <laughs> Kevin, let's bring this up. I thought this movie came out already. Skyscraper, starring Dwayne the Rock Johnson. July thirteenth. How many movies does he have coming out every fucking year? Three. Oh man. Four. Yeah, it must be. I would talk shit to The Rock if not for two things. One, he's The Rock and he'll kill me. Mm -hmm. And two, evidently Jumanji was really good. Jumanji was so good. I almost, got, almost watched it this weekend. You should. Almost. Well, you we were should. Watching, You'll enjoy we it. We were watching Bosch on Amazon Prime, and mm -hmm. it is fucking great. Great. Arguably one of the best shows you Yo, can stream right you now. Walk in. Hey, who here's watching Bosch? <laughs> No, because no I remember it was it was Makuga. Makuga yeah, was watching was Bosch because we're the same human being. Yeah. We have the same dick and the same parents. I'm saying that. Well, whatever. I've heard it both ways. Next poster. Next poster. What the fuck I is this? I have no idea. I have no Wait, idea, but I saw this poster and this is, I guess, a real thing. All right. This looks... Like a joke. James Franco. I can't even see that. Suki Waterhouse. Yeah. Jeffrey Wahlberg. Margarita Leviva. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. George Lewis Jr., 
Lucy Cliff Liu. Method Man Smith. Yeah, Method Man's in it. And Mila Jovovich. Oh my god. And this is called Future World, and I hope it's a joke. Chat. It's closer than you think. <laughs> its tagline is awful. <laughs> but it's not, but that's the, what I love about that. No suspense created to that. It's closer than you think. Still not here. Yeah. Just want you to know, still not the future, a reality. Dude, the future will never be here. This looks like uh, Bur- it just looks like Burning Man. Yeah, it looks like Burning Man. I, I just would hope not it's be Burning surprised Man. If it was like it takes place and you find out, oh no, it's actually like a month long Burning Man. That like Lauren Lanning's in the background. He's like, hey guys, I'm glad you made it. Come into my trailer and you step in there and it's a fucking quantum zone. You're like, how are we in an alternate reality, Lauren? Jesus. God bless Lauren Lanning. All right, let's talk some Westworld. The Westworld season two premiere was last night. Did you watch it? No. Did I watch it? No. no. Kev, did you watch it? No. Well, all right. Chat, let us know if you watched it. Uh, we're going to go into a little spoiler-free impressions piece with none of us because none of us watched it, but Andrea did. And well, no, it's not spoiler-free. It's going to be full spoiler. We're going to go, well, I mean, I don't want it spoiled. But then we're going to need to walk off. What's I the point of doing this? I want I want, should I watch this? Fine, spoilerific. Who cares? Andrea. Should I put the spoilers bro up? Yeah, put the spoilers bro up. And, and we're also going to bring in our uh, the person who knows most about Westerns. Uh, the man from the RGV, uh, Mr. Andy Cortez, will be coming in at some point. There he is. Andy right, Cortez, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That's okay. That's okay. There he is. All right. We're in the, go, guys. We're in the vaquero hat. There you go. You just pin it to your shirt. You don't have to go in Let's talk. your pants. Let's talk Westworld, everybody. Can you send Andrea in here as well? So, I want to get her opinions on it. Let's... I'm not leaving for spoilers. Let's talk Westworld, guys. Tim's got shit to do. What questions you got for me, Nick? I want. Well, we'll wait for Andrea uh, to finish her power call, so she can grace us with her presence. Sure. Kevin. Uh, Kev? Yep. <laughs> what? What is this clip that you've pulled up, Kev? Oh, that's uh, from the the tips. We'll get to it later. All right. Yeah, come on. In. All right. So here's my question for you guys. I'm oh, at, Andrea watched it too. Oh, yeah, Andrea watched it as well. Okay. I'm at a yeah. tipping point right now. Okay. Where I'm like, do I want to watch this or do I want to just let it queue up and maybe watch them all when they're done? I feel like if you wait, there's definitely going to get spoiled for you. Is there spoiler stuff in this? We can we, we put up the spoiler bro thing. You guys can ruin this episode um, for me if you want. I don't... There are some things that we of. all sort of saw coming. Okay. Yeah. Um, later on in the episode, they discover a dead tiger robot. A tiger um, robot. And they're like, how the fuck did this get all the way out here? Showed us showing that there are, More aside from Westworld, there's uh, going to be this Samurai Jurassic World. Jurassic Park? Samurai World. Yeah, they said, is there they said dinosaur? Park 6 specifically. Oh, yeah. so there's more. Okay. Yes. Wait, they alluded to that last season, didn't they? Wasn't there some others like... Yeah, yeah, yeah you could the, see uh, Samurai, the, the samurai the stuff, right? Shogun World that everyone keeps talking about. Yeah, that's Shogun right, World, right. yeah, not Samurai They did that at the end, right? At the end of the thing, she like goes into the other territory and they're like building a, a Samurai or something. Was well, that, I think you. Crazy? I think like the camera pans by, and in the background you see Shogun armor and mm-hmm. stuff like that, or you see samurai robots or whatever. Dope. Um, so um, this episode, whew, it was hard staying awake. Was it? I was, was very tired. I was very tired. Oh, I thought I was like, were you bored? Yeah, I was very tired, and I think was what, that was that the was that the show, or did you just have a long I weekend and you both. were sleepy? I think it's both. The I think. The problem that I run into with Westworld is that it tries to be like too smart for its own good. Where like I, I I'm watching it, and I'm like, well, why, well, like why why they have to, why why are they doing that? You know, like I, I don't want to. Oh, I guess we are in spoiler mode or whatever. We are in spoiler mode. We are in spoiler mode. They they like to fuck around with time a whole lot. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. They like to tell. Well, yeah. They, and the first we'll spoil the first season. Obviously, they they had time jumps. That there were two characters who were the right. same character. One was young, one was old. Mm-hmm. And so you didn't realize that. And it was I thought that was cool. I thought the payoff was really cool. But it was also spoiled. It's all the by, man with black hat. Yeah, but it was also spoiled uh, by the internet for me because I was I did not see that coming. I was like, oh, this is. And then someone was like, you know, they're probably the same person. I was like, no, oh, yeah. yes, okay. I made the mistake of being on all the right. subreddit. Yeah. Quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, you can't do that. Ruined me. Yeah. Can't do Ruined that. it. Mm-hmm. So um, they're still fucking around with time in this one? Well, not so much in the first episode. A little bit, but not really. Well, the, the, the so Arnold, no, Arnold, B- uh, Bernard. Bernard. Right? Yeah. The one who ended up, he, you find out that he is an android. Mm-hmm. And they, they, Are you talking about his conversations with Dolores? So, um, yes, yes. Okay. Well, because, well, with Bernard, the whole episode has, this is Bernard 
right after the events of season one happened, and then it cuts to this is Bernard several weeks after the events of season one happened. So throughout the episode, we're watching Bernard with, um, oh God, what's her name? From Thor Ragnarok. The, the, oh, the Tessa Valkyrie. Thomas. Tessa Thompson. Or Thompson. Thompson. She's, she's what, the, the head of the board of directors or whatever? Correct. Right? She's yes. the one trying to shut the, or not shut the park down. She was the one trying to wrench the control away from Anthony Hopkins. Exactly. And then Anthony Hopkins, no more in the show, he's right? Gone. Gonzo. Yes. Gonzo. Gun and Harris shot. still in it? Dolores though? shot him. He's, Ed Harris he's still all the way on. dead. Yeah. Ed Harris is still in the show. Sick. Yeah. yeah. This is dope. Um, I love him. So the throughout the episode, you are seeing right after the big gun, the big shootout happens at the end of season one, yeah. where all you know all the people who work for the park are dead. Essentially, we see exactly what happens like minutes after that, where Bernard and a few other people are hiding, trying not to get killed or whatever, and they're trying to just survive. And then throughout the episode, we cut to we suddenly cut to Bernard waking up on a beach. And there's water hitting him, mm-hmm. and there's all these soldiers there, who are like there to like you know, f- sort of take a man. They're like, "What the fuck are you doing out here? Why are you on? The, why are you out on the beach?" So we're cutting between their initial escape, mm-hmm. and then going forward to Bernard two weeks later. Two, wh- wh- whoever knows how many weeks later, because the like the special ops are there trying to like, yeah, you know, they're trying to figure out what the fuck happened, how he's on this beach or whatever. So we're cutting between a lot of stuff, and. Um, in the the earlier moments, it's Tessa Thompson and um, and Bernard. I don't know her character's name, but Tessa Thompson and Bernard, mm-hmm. and they are trying to escape, trying to be safe in this world. And they find like they find like sort of a safe haven underground, and they go down there. And there there's a little uh, a little line of dialogue slipped, which is easy to forget. But they said, "Why is Delos collecting?" Uh, customers data like apparently the big corporation who owns all this has been collecting customers DNA samples Mm -hmm. and nobody knows why but that was kind of like thrown in there and he mentioned it and Tessa Thompson was like now's not the time for that discussion we gotta we gotta blah 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 probably because they're gonna make like clones of people right like you could like have Delos make a host of like a loved one that's dead maybe or something like that and you can just keep them in captivity and that or like really you nice like have a bay that you're like super into and you want two of them. Mm-hmm. That'd be really cool. That'd yeah, be really cool. So the whole episode is going between these I'm two little, be good. these two timelines. <laughs> I'm, good, I'm good with one wife. <laughs> you're like one base more. Yeah, <laughs> one wife is uh, that's that's good. Um, okay. We do see that rich snobby dude who was a who was one of the story writers. Okay. Remember, oh, yeah, yeah, remember yeah. the 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 so snobby English guy? Yeah, like yeah. he's just really loud the, and annoying. the annoying character yeah. from last season. Sure. Yeah. So he survives and Maeve. The woman who's like, Danny Newton's who, yeah, Danny Newton. tries to bust out of the place, right? She event, she finds him and he's like, I can help you. You don't have to kill me. Like I can help you. And she's like, they're gunning down people left and right or whatever. Um, there's a moment where he tries to fucking sell her ass out. Like all all these soldiers come in and Maeve's like, fucking chill. I'm gonna pretend that I'm a real human, right? So she's like, we need help, guys. We need help. There's the, these robots are everywhere. They're trying to kill us. And she has like those cool little fucking like P90. Little weapons. Like a little SMG? Yeah, they, sure. they look so cool. Uh, and then the snobby dude is like, maybe some of the robots are pretending to be humans. And he like kind of eyes at the woman. She just like chops The soldiers like look at her or whatever. But then cowboys come in, pat, 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 start shooting. There's just, there's just so many like narrative leaps that I'm having trouble accepting. Like my suspension of disbelief was broken so much during this episode that it left me like kind of angry. It, why? Why is that? How does how does Maeve know how to use an SMG? It's not part of her written story anywhere. Sure. Well, maybe she da- well remember she downloaded a lot of shit. What, yeah, there was she, that time where she she, she was she, so she kept the guys oh, yeah. like Who captive. Who killed all of the people in the in the headquarters? Like this this wasn't just like a couple bodies. It was like hundreds and oh, hundreds so like of when bodies. the robots took over from the last, yeah, they, they just decimated it everyone. Shows them- but like the the way that they set it up in the finale, it was like. Four people, right? Yeah. It was like the the blonde cowgirl, the, the dope tattoo, the the desperado guy, the hot guy, Maeve, yeah. yes, and then there was like God, one or two look. others, mm-hmm. because the way that they showed all of the hosts that were in the underground, like they were in deep storage, they were supposedly all out in the world, like in like this giant battle that happened at the okay at the party, yeah, at so that like, party. We don't know if some of those were part of this massacre that happened, or if these like four or five people 
single-handedly took out all of these people, but they were like trained security guards. The whole thing mm. is fishy, and I don't like it. Okay. They, they, they're, they're, we see the That's whole building, the headquarters. <laughs> there are dead people everywhere, Nick. It's okay. like, how many of these it's, fucking robots? It's like, like thousands of dead, of dead people. They have single-shooter revolvers, and all these like security soldiers have like these fucking awesome semi-automatic weapons. Like how, I don't know, it's really confusing. Well, they are machines, and they, are, uh, they can aim better. The normal humans. Yeah, sure. Because they don't think. They just act. Machines. I don't, I, 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 Here's my question for you guys. Uh, is this a show that you're like, I got, I'm, it doesn't have the addicting nature that it had season one. Do you're like, hey, I'm looking forward to Sunday. Are you, are, are, you on the, are you teetering on the line of like, do I need to really watch this as it's happening? I'd say I'm going to watch it every episode. You think so? Yeah. Because I last night I was like, should I watch this? Should I watch Thor instead? And I'm like, I'm just gonna watch. This. I mean, yeah, Ragnarok's I'm, I'm, better. Than I'm definitely going to hang in there. Listen, mm -hmm. I hung into The Walking Dead up until this final season. So if I can make it that long, yeah, that's dedication. Had, uh, listen, halfway through the Negan season, I'm like, I think I'm done with. And this, this. is only yeah. season two. Like you know where? Yeah, th there are prom. It seems promising that really cool shit is going to happen in yeah. this season. Uh, with the teases to Shogun World and everything like that, and they do show a preview of like you know how they do sort of a preview of the whole scene. They do show Maeve with like a samurai sword, so like cool stuff will happen. Sure, I am just like at the end of this episode, I did feel kind of fairly underwhelmed. Do you feel like they're going to go? Do you feel like they they know where they're going with this, or do you feel like they're losting this? Where they're like, I think oh, they, this is a success. We need to go for four more seasons. Let's introduce all these elements, and when they tie up at the end of four or five seasons, it's not going to be gratifying. I'm not sure because it's incredibly expensive to make. Yeah, and I don't know if it's gonna. I don't. I would be surprised if they could squeeze four more seasons out of the story. I'd assume they, they have, have a plan. Yeah. But like, I hope so. I I just don't like how they took some characters that they defined in a specific way last season and like 180 them in the first in the first episode like Dolores in particular mm -hmm. went from being this one type of character and discovering like who she is to like being like a terrible evil warlord well like, remember, I just I did not like it at do all Do you remember the mentionings of the of Wyatt the character Wyatt in season 1 Wyatt is this crazy he's killer the one they're all trying to go he's after he's this crazy yeah. murderer well part of Dolores's past character is Wyatt. She has been Wyatt in her past. Interesting. Like in different scenarios where they like put her out there. She mm -hmm. has been Wyatt before. Oh, okay. So parts of those thing, parts of that memory is popping back up. So cool. So she's becoming like this crazy fucking killer and they're like hanging workers and like she's brutal. She's just headshots she's, left and right. She's just killing she's just killing anybody that's that's alive. To the point where James Marsden, handsome James Marsden, is like, handsome this is James. fucked up. Like, what are we doing? You know? First off, we're forever referring to him as handsome. He's James scared. Marsden. Even he's worried. Yeah. Well, he's beautiful. He's yeah, a beautiful human exactly. being. He's got great skin. The, the most important thing that we need to that we discovered though is that this is on an island, and so as long as they just like because I can't tell if you're fucking with me or not. No, are you okay. no, it is. It's on an island. Really? Yes. And like it's a the, big the, the the theories is, are called, that, is like, that island called Australia? Well. The, M maybe, nah. maybe it is nah. Australia. Who knows? At the end of the episode, you do see like a fuckload of water everywhere, and they're like, "There's, uh, there's no way that Ford, um, what Anthony Hopkins, could have been building this without us knowing how. How is there all this water here? There's a sea out there, mm -hmm. and then they're like, "Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a whole bunch of hosts in this area. We're reading in our little like radar maps. There's a whole bunch of hosts. Let's go see where they are." And they get there. And all of these fucking robots are just in the water dead. And then it cuts to Bernard and he's like, I killed them all. And you don't know what happened between past Were they Bernard. Trying to swim off the island or what? Nobody knows. I don't even know if that was because that didn't look like it was the edge of the island. It looked like a lake or something. It was like, yeah, some I don't know. I don't know. It's it's fucking Maybe again, it was. confusing yeah. for the sake of confusion. They they zoomed they zoomed in on one dead host in the water. Yeah, naked. Uh, like no. no, but they, we did see some nudity. Uh, I'm in, I'm back in. Real, full you guys, frontal male. Yeah, movie. really annoying guy, the, the lots storybook of pubes writer. In this. Lots of pubes in this show, I'll tell you that right they, now. They, it's like, Maeve is like, you need to look like a cowboy, you need to fit in, fucking strip your clothes Take off. Take your pee-pee out. So he's like taking his clothes off, she's like, no, everything. And he takes he it off. the boxer briefs on. And they're like, showing, they're showing butt. Robots don't wear boxer briefs. They don't. They're showing butt from behind, and I'm like, they're not gonna show his dick. Full front dick. 
I was like, that's a dick. <laughs> so there's ju- I'm telling you guys, you guys don't remember how many dicks there were in season one. There oh, were yeah. a lot. Oh, there remember were. when they walked into the sweaty room where they looked like I mean, they're, they're all I melting think and there was a lot just is dick? A stretch. There weren't that many dicks. There were more dicks in there season one of, of Westworld. There's a lot of boobs and a lot of Merkins. Way more boobs. A lot of Merkins. Way too many Merkins for my taste. <laughs> But there was so there were there were more penises in that in the first ep- season of Westworld than I think in any other HBO show combined. Yeah, that's a, like any cable show combined, there's just a lot. You're just like that's, that's a that's dick. That's probably true. And I like I, it because I, it destigmatizes. I have to interrupt dicks. you to, to come around the corner and take. Please go. Go ahead and go out there. Yeah, and sorry come about back that. Out. Well, that's our. But real quick though, they did zoom in on one android. You can stick around for way too long, and did they? like it's we, we don't know why. Okay. We don't know why. Well, Stick, why don't you finish the show out with me real quick? All right. Uh, we'll take some comments in a couple seconds. Uh, Sorry, guys, for talking so long. Before we go into PS... No, it's fun. Uh, this is what I wanted to hear. Do I want... Because uh, I'm teetering. I'm like, do I want back into the show or not? Or do I just let it ride? I do said. What's that? What you said? I think I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Because they're, they're like... It's, it's, you know, it's tickling that part of my brain that's like... I know this could part. be cool. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And last season, I think season one was probably one of the best episodes of... Like episodic storytelling ever made. Well, like see, that, that's awesome. the problem with this episode. Is like compared so to season one, episode one, I think that series opener is one of the best episode ones of any. Well, they got franchise. you. They got you tickled. Where it's like, who's this? J- who's handsome James it Marsden? It could have been character. such a little standalone story. It was so good. It was so freaking good. Yeah. Uh, let's go into some tips real quick, everyone. If you tip us at the five dollar above level, we will read that. If you're new to the show, if you're not new to the show, thank you for your returning tip. Wingfan 191 says, fun clip for the Great Wall. First 30 seconds is all you need. It's all I can think about when you guys cut to and uh, back from the housekeeping segment. Kevin, we'll look at that. Uh, Bardis Bardif- Bar- Barificer says, how long until we get a what happened shirt? I don't know. Well, there you go. Justin Ryan Bear Bear says, good morning, party people. Life has been good now that we have God of War. Here's a fun clip and happy Monday. Oh, is he talking about Andy? What happened? That's what he's talking about. Oh, that's what he's talking about. Okay. What happened? Let me see what's going on here, Kev. Uh, I've seen that Let's start with this one. All right, give it to me. All right, here he comes. Be ready. Give it to me. Hey, baby. That's pretty funny. That was amazing. Okay. Movie magic. Movie magic. I'll What's the next one? The baby wasn't real. No. Baby's dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Give me this. What's this? I've oh. seen this before. It's, it's good? It's whatever. It's not that good. Let's watch it. I'm excited about it. <laughs> it goes on a little too long. You guys kind of jacked, though. All right, we're off this. Yeah, you're fired. Whoever gave us this clip, Tuss uh, Tuss Spot says, "Good morning." Gave us a nice tip. And been studying for finals, but finally able to watch live. Wanted to say I had a great time at CJ's meet up, seeing new best friends. Tim will remember my small ass Barbara hoodie. Uh, Ignacio Rojas says, "Guys, found out found some leaked Spider Man footage. Don't tell anyone. It's super secret footage." That's Kevin Shield update. Nick, your name update. Uh, <laughs> Ignacio Rojas, you're fired. <laughs> you're fired. Uh, Game Kid Mad City says, Tim, I made something special for you and the KF crew. That's fun. I like it. Pass that on to Tim. Uh, all right, PSLO, this best friend XOXO is your opportunity to nominate someone in the community who feels doing a great job of being a best friend. Go to kindoffunny.com slash best friend and fill out that form, just like Robert S. Anderson did. He is shouting out Sancho West and says, hey guys, do you need help? Tips and tricks for Fortnite Battle Royale? Well, I can't help you, but Sancho West can. He streams regularly on Twitch and has a YouTube channel where he is all about that Fortnite life. Yeah. I think that's all it was there. So there you go. Here's what's really important about Sancho West. Yeah. Recently laid off. Mm -hmm. He's going full in on the content stuff. Yeah. And he's killing it. Yeah. And he's really... Is that his real name? No. That's a dope name. It's like Kanye West, but Sancho West. I'm in his Twitch like chat. Like a more ethnic version of Kanye West. And somebody's like, how, hey, how many uh, uh, Victory Royales? I call them Taco Royales. Yeah. How many Taco Royales have you had? He goes, I've had uh, like four today and uh, 200 and something in total. Like, what, dude? 200 and what? Something, yeah. That's so many wins, That sounds like dude. a lot. It also sounds like you're spending a lot of time playing Fortnite, but good for you. Yeah, I think it's the like main you. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you do you. He's really good at it. Every time you say there. Sancho West, I, I the song the uh, I don't practice Sancheria. <laughs> I ain't got no crystal ball. That should be your dun, song, by the way. I ain't practice Sancho West. I ain't got no Fortnite ball. No, I don't know. 
That's all I got on that. It's Monday. The song ends right after. <laughs> That's it. I ain't got no Sancho West. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's all it is. Uh, all right, ladies and gents, it is giveaway time each and every day here. If you're watching this show live, you get entered into a chance to win a free game just by being in the Twitch chat. But that's not all. You can also be a subscriber via Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime. Here's your daily reminder. Please give that to someone. If you don't give it to us, give it to someone. I gave mine to Teddy Chineris. And you know what? He was grateful. I think it made his day. And then I proceeded to ruin that day the next day by saying he was an, un- an ingrate. He was just an ingrate. Wow. But I gave mine to Teddy Chineris. Give it to someone. Uh, if you oh, yeah. want to support us on other platforms, you also get entered to win at the two dollar above level on patreoncom slash games or <coughs> patreoncom slash Uh The two dollar above level gets you all the perks of one dollar, uh, which is when we record the podcast live. You get to watch the pre and post show and ask us questions and just be there for the shenanigans and see what we cut out of the show because sometimes we cut some crazy shit out. If you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, before we give away the game today. Uh, this episode of The Kind of Funny Morning Show is brought to you by Hims, uh, a wellness brand for men. Now, let me tell you, 66% of men lose their hair by age of 35. I noticed that my hair was thinning right around the age of 25. Mid-20s, very hard thing for a mid-20s young buck, virile, good-looking man like myself to deal with. Sexually fucking ferocious. Just a beautiful <laughs> Adonis. lion walking around Irvine, California. Right. Just, 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 pr- on the prowl. Matter. We're going to leave that. Yeah. We're, we're going to let that go, and we're going to go into the rest of the copy here. Um, but if you guys are worried about that, if you guys are noticing thinning, <laughs> if you guys are noticing like a bald spot somewhere, if you notice you're, you're thinking to yourself, it's just not as full as it used to be, uh, well, you can do something about that. And let me tell you, it's probably better to do something about that now, uh, because by the time you notice really a lot of it, it's probably too late. Uh, Hims has the solution for that. They're a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness for men. Uh, thanks to science, baldness can be optional. Hims connects you to real doctors and medical grade solutions to treat hair loss. This is not snake oil. These are all uh, products that I have used before in the past, and I stand by them. Uh, the sign up process is very easy. You go to forhims.com. Uh, you can sign up for their starter kit. They have a great deal on that. We'll get to that in a second. Um, and basically, you take some pictures of your head, submit them, and a real doctor will look at them along with a very, very lengthy medical form that you fill out to make sure that you are a good candidate to. Uh, to take some of these meds. Uh, there's also uh, vitamins that I'm looking, you know, looking forward to taking as far as, you know, for your hair, for skincare, all that stuff. Um, biotin. Yeah, biotin. It's, it's good it's, for you. I, just, really I literally tasty. just, I took, I had that thing where my throat went super dry for a second there, and I was like. I'm not kidding you. The vitamin that they send you is the tastiest fucking vitamin I've ever had in my Damn, life. Damn, all right, bruh. It really is. All it right. just tastes like a gummy. It's so sugary. I appreciate and good. that. Yeah. I appreciate that. Right now, uh, the listeners get a free month. Uh, get a trial month of Hims for just five dollars today, right now, while supplies last. See website for details. That's right. That is five dollars for the trial. Uh, this would cost hundreds if you went to the doctor. Go to hims.com/morningshow. That's forhims.com/morningshow. Forhims.com/morningshow to take advantage of that. Uh, you know, if you're having a problem, they can help. Solve it. Solve it. I was, trying to, I was trying to remember a vanilla ice lyric there, but I can't. If you're having a problem, I don't know. Turn off the lights. And and flow. <laughs> oh, flow or glow? It glow. It's glow. Oh, okay. It should have been flow. If I if I was a friend of ice back then, I'd be like, yo, it should be flow because you're flowing right now. But he's like, no, turn off the lights and I'll glow. I'm like, you're not going to glow. You're gonna, False you're gonna, advertising. You're going to race jet skis later in life. Yeah. Uh, today's winner. Oh, wins, let's see, Reverie on PS3 slash Vita. Congratulations to Kieran Paul from Kind of Funny Games Patreon. Uh, You have won Reverie on PS3 slash Vita. All right, folks. This is the portion of the show where we dance with you. We go slow dance with you hand to hand. We just grab you and we leave a little room for Jesus. We also call it the three and three. You can ask us some questions here. Uh, let us know if you have any comments or concerns about what we're doing, or if you want to just give us a compliment, please cue those up in the chat. We'll read those. Andy and I will answer those. Tim is gone. We just don't know where he went, but you look great in that hat, so I'm going to keep you here for Thanks, a little man. while. Uh, and then after a few questions, we will go and talk to the subscribers, the ones we really care about, the guys who put their money where their mouths are, or their you know Amazon Primes where their mouths are. All right. Did you Let's notice how uh, Shinobi from uh, Twitter... Called out my uh, in-depth look at Detroit Become Human, which is live now on YouTube.com. No, that's awesome. What was was your take on that game? Uh, Maybe you should watch the video. No, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. But it was like, you know, again, number one game journalist, you know, 
What can I say? <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. You're, you're not only the number one team, you're also our, uh, our man from the West. You're, you're the, the foremost authority on Westerns, yeah. Andy Cortez from the RGV. I, I don't watch any Westerns, actually. Uh, Jugular says, has Andy given his 30-second sports update yet today? No. 30 seconds? No, that's a lot. Manu Ginobili, though. Woo! Manu yeah, forever. dude. 100%. Uh, Kevin the Killer says, Nick, how is your name coming along? Uh, it's good. It's coming great. It's almost, it's made it to my desk at home. Now it needs to make it out of the packaging into my PS4, and we'll see what happens. Five there. weeks tops. Five weeks minimum. Wasn't there a joke that we had where, like a running joke where people would ask me an update and I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm still charging along on it. I forgot it what it was. Is it the song? Is it the Thanksgiving song? No, I forgot Drewski what it was. 2K says, Nick, start how, Krypton. How's that song going? It's great. You gonna make it for Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's good. Maybe Thanksgiving 2020. Uh, <laughs> Drewski 2K says, Nick, start Krypton. It's only 10 episodes. They're taking your advice of telling short, concise stories. I am watching Krypton. Uh, I have three queued up on my DVR, though. I'm like, I think I'm... I'm three behind right now. I think they've had, they've had five so far, if I'm not mistaken. I like it. It's a good show. You guys should watch it. I'd say maybe finish that up because then you might be less inclined to watch Westworld as you're watching that. Really? They're our, they're our episodes, right? I believe so, yeah. Okay. okay. I, I mean, for just from a time standpoint. Yeah, I got plenty It may of time. seem overwhelming. I got plenty of time. Uh, let's see. Nick, did you see UFC announced Holloway versus Ortega as the co-main event for uh, Miocek versus DC? I did not. That's a great card. That is a fantastic card. Hopefully, everyone makes it to the fight this time. Knock on wood. We'll see what happens. Because last time it was terrible. Nick, what's the latest on Allison Mack? Do you have the inside scoop? Shit, that was the story we were going to talk about today. Kevin, yep. remind me to talk about uh, the okay. Smallville sex cult tomorrow. Because yep. Allison Mack got arrested. And man, that video did really well for us as far as a view standpoint <laughs> was concerned. Sounds like you may have talked about all the news. The small, well, she got arrested, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's the inside scoop that I have. I don't know any more than that. All right, let's go into sub Use that as a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, that's it. People, oh, I, people love when I do that, when I just randomly pick one sentence and go, here's what we talked about. I'm like, you fucking asshole. You are an asshole. Uh, B Silver 87 says, Nick, I have a fitness competition at work, and I need to gain some muscle in the next three months. What do I do? I lost 30 pounds already. There's only one way to gain muscle, my friend. You got to lift. Get in there and lift. Try to, get in, try to get in there and lift three to four days a week if you can. And try to find someone who actually can show you how to lift so you don't hurt yourself and, and take yourself out of the game. Another way to gain muscle, a lot of, hot, a lot of uh, uh, mashed potatoes. Yeah, that's not how you gain muscle, no. <laughs> protein, protein. Eat so much protein that the second turkey hits your mouth, you poop yourself. Mm. Nick, jaritos or coke? Jaritos is good, man. Is you ever had a lime jaritos? Oh, man, I don't no, know what that good. is. It's, it's like Mexican soda. Okay. Like, it's kind of like a different version of Fanta. Okay. Fanta. Okay. It Nick. all kind of tastes like popsicles. I love that. I went oh, to, like uh, melted, like the melted ones that you would tear apart. They would like cut your lips. Oh, the uh, otter pops. Yeah, yeah. You ever it make those? Like otter pops. We yeah. call them bullies. Well, they're otter pops, where I come from, because otters are the dogs. Do you remember the bullies though? Where they were like in two little like yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember those. Break them, snap them off. Yeah, yeah. Those were uh, nothing those but were, sugar. <laughs> yeah, they were just pure sugar water. <laughs> otter pops. I used to, I used to have, I used to take down like five, six otter pops a day, and. Man, I can't believe. Looking back on that, I was like, Mom, what the fuck were you thinking letting <laughs> yeah. me eat that much sugar? I was so fat. It's so much. Nick, new GOG topic, says Richard Draken. Uh, what makes a compelling pilot episode for a TV series? Also, highlight some favorites like the newsroom ep uh, epic Jeff Daniel monologue. That's not a bad topic. We might, we might do that. I think what makes a great... Uh, ah, fuck, Nick. Tagless02 says, Nick, you didn't read Cheers. You're right. I did not. We're going to read some cheers right now, ladies and gentlemen. The real release, is she winning a trophy, a case of LaCroix? We're going to send her some cupcakes. Yeah. The real Mr. Toft says, does this mean I win? Cheering confuses me as much as Nick. 67 days until prom. I can't wait. See you all there. Wow, 6,000 6, cheers. cheers. Holy shit. Thank you. I don't know if you win or not, because I don't know what a cheer is. <laughs> ReeseMan613 uh, has given us 500 cheers. Says, morning, fellas. Did y'all hear that MoviePass changed their monthly plan? Now you have to pay for three months right off the bat and only watch four... <laughs> And only watch four movies per month. If you signed up beforehand, your grandfather didn't apparently nick, you done fucked up, son. Now I'm never getting movie pass. Wait, I, I think that I thought that was the iHeart promotion where it's like you can choose that option and get I'll never know. iHeart. I'll music, never know. Which is Tagless02 says R.I.P. Share. Hey guys. What? Did Cher die? I mean people just say things, you know? No, rip cheer. Ah! It's an uh, like an emoticon, I guess. Got it. Okay. God, I thought Cher died. I was like, she's pretty young. <laughs> hey, guys. Shouting out uh, a meetup in uh, Tucson, Arizona for Infinity War this Saturday at 9 a.m. at Park Place Mall. Message at GameShark03 or at Tagless. 
uh, O2 too. on Twitter for more info. Thanks for all you guys do. That sounds fun. Uh, if I were in Tucson, Arizona, I would uh, w- uh, look at Twitter for that. Uh, Neo Bytes Live. No, oh, it's from, it's from two days ago. Okay, we're good on that. We're good on that. Let's rip read a couple. Share. Everybody's saying rip share. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> RIP share, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Share died. First Sunny Bono, now this. How That's am I wild. supposed to live in this place, bro? <laughs> uh, Andy, what are you watching? Are you watching the NFL draft on Thursday? Nah. What a fucking boring way. I'm to totally play. like, I don't care that much anymore. Uh, Jugular says, now that Andy uh, has been at KF for a year, how many sexual harassment complaints has he filed with HR? Am I allowed to disclose that? Uh, yeah, you can talk about it if you want. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Who cares? <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> That's all, that shit's all over now. We've, we cured it. We figured it out yeah, in the world. Absolutely. We nailed it. Hashtag me too. Hashtag all of us. Mm-hmm. Hashtag all of us. Sure. Hashtag you too. Omega <laughs> Batman says, Nick, you're an old fogey. I got your back, milkman. <laughs> fogey. <laughs> Did, did Kevin start that shit? Well, what's amazing is every time people call me a fogey, they also call Kevin the milkman, and I'm fine with that because Kevin is the milkman. It's like a win and a loss. The thing you about just, the thing when, when I call Kevin the milkman, you can just keep going. You can call him the milkman. You call him Chocolate Sunday. You call him all sorts of fun things. We call him Milkshake. Chocolate Sunday. Yeah, because he likes those chocolate Sundays. I love chocolate Sundays. <laughs> God, the <laughs> eyes he's giving me are just horrifying. My eyes hurt real bad, guys. Yeah, they do. Zyger1337 says, Nick, can you look Andy in the eyes and ask him how he feels about Dallas Fuel dropping the, ba- the ball against Houston Outlaws? No, I can't do that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of today's morning show. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you didn't know, we do this show each and every day during the week. Because I've seen some people on Twitter who are like, Nick, you know there's seven days in the week. Nobody counts Saturdays and Sundays. That Mm -hmm. is your leisure day. It goes without saying that we don't do this news show on the days where no news is happening. Except for last weekend where James Cameron talked shit. And and Smallville sex person got arrested. Hashtag burn blue. It's been my pleasure as always. Uh, Keep on keeping on out there and be excellent to each other. Kevin, cut the feed.